What was the worst job interview you've had? At an interview for a tech startup, they asked me if you could be any animal, what would you be? I answered otter because you know, fun, active, work well with their hands and cute as fuck. They really debated whether or not to hire me because of that answer because, and I quote, we only hire predators, never prey. And they weren't sure how to quantify an otter, because none of them had ever paid the least bit of attention to any sort of animal documentary or read biology or you know, visited a zoo recently. God that job sucked hard. The interviewer insisted on knowing why I'd left graduate school. Now, I had left graduate school because my advisor died in a car accident and the whole small department was thrown for a loop and no one seemed to know or care what was going to happen to me or my just started research project. The asshole interviewer wouldn't even accept my advisor died suddenly and dug into the gory details until I was almost in tears, even intimating that I must have had feelings for my advisor. I couldn't wait to get out of there and in my haste to leave I knocked some solutions off a cart, which had no business being in his office BTW, on my way out. I'd never been so humiliated in my life. After that, I was sure I'd never get a job in science. I drove an hour away to an interview at 8 a.m. I waited outside the interviewer's office until 8.30 a.m. with no one to tell me where to go or where she was. Finally, another employee walks by and I ask if they know where this woman is to interview me. They had no idea where she was, why she was late, and told me if she wasn't there yet, I should leave because she probably forgot, okay? I decide 45 minutes is the cutoff, especially standing in a government building looking like a creep waiting. 8.45 on the dot she rushes in, flustered, wet hair, and in casual yoga pants. With all the resurgence of patience I could muster, I greeted her and was met with a passive-aggressive scolding of how the interview was at 9, not 8. Uh. I tripled checked the email asking me to interview and it was 8. We had conducted a phone interview and she followed up with an email request to an in-person interview at 8. I was 100% positive on this, I hate being late, even with this, and I did say, I'm certain you said 8 a.m. Mum she wasn't having it. Conversely, she also went on about why she was late, so mounting in, she went to the gym and forgot her underwear to change into and had to stop at a store and buy new ones after working out, before coming to work. She told me this. In the first five minutes. Why? I didn't ask her. Regardless, she looks at my resume, apparently for the first time, because she proceeds to tell me how it is unimpressive and my graduate studies should have yielded numerous publications after 1.5 years. In my field, most don't publish until after 3 to 4 years. Even still, she kept saying how I had moved up the interview time, showed me the workspaces and told me I probably wouldn't be interested in what they do there. I politely told her I had driven, at her request, to be there and interview for employment, I was very interested. She waved me off. As we left, I just tried to hold it together. I was very poor and very desperate for a job, thanked her, and she told me how great it is to work for the government, how good the benefits, the pension, the time off are. On and on. She said, if you can find an opening working for the government, you should try to check it out and get hired on. Pull up. I just looked her in the face and said, yes, ma'am, that was my hope with today's interview. Thank you. And left. And sat in my car and bawled the whole drive home like the desperate loser I was. That was a low one, to be sure. Company was downsizing. All employees in a specific yet exclusive division were fired and ordered to reapply for their position plus two other jobs in the company. You'd either get one of those jobs or be terminated. The subsequent interviews were conducted with a manager and an HR person. First interview in executive suite, manager asks why aren't you applying for this key supervisory slot? I had listed it second on my list. Me, I would prefer to stay in my expertise in which I won a national award. HR, I didn't know awards like that existed. Second interview, current boss likes me for my existing job, for which I was heavily recruited from another company. HR, wow, so you're the guy who does this job? I had no idea a real person did it. Third interview, HR person says he's never heard of my division or that employees actually worked at night. I had listed this job in which I merely served as a minor manager third on my preferences. Really didn't want it but had to list three. The results, I was retained but transferred to the third dead end day job. My old award winning job was given to an aging staffer who never worked in that position or had a clue. The supervisor job went to a brilliant colleague who wanted and deserved it. I quit very soon thereafter and joined a bigger company with better benefits. Skill pays off. After all that, my old company 
seeing the error of its ways and lost production and general lack of ability, offered me a bonus to return. Nope, nope, nope. And I'm returning the corporate knife you stuck in my back. 5 interview rounds with the last interview round being with the CEO all for an entry level customer service job. During the last interview, the CEO said you weren't allowed to get sick, and you weren't allowed to leave at the end of the day until all of the work had been done. So even though the job was 8 to 4 the CEO said customer service reps often stayed until 6 pm or later. She also asked if I would be comfortable secretly reporting to her about what the customer service team is up to. I declined the job offer and the company harassed me with emails asking why and what they did wrong. Really glad I didn't take the job. Yeah I have one that sticks out. I applied to a government branch as a network admin. The newspaper ad asked for a bachelor's degree. They called me into the interview. When I got there, the first thing the interviewer said was, we wanted someone with a master's degree. Why did you apply? Now, I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they had other interviews that day and got them mixed up. Shit happens. I just informed the interviewer that the ad I applied for requested a bachelor's degree, and confirmed the position I was interviewing for. No, we definitely wanted someone with a master's degree. So, again, why did you apply? If you wanted someone with a master's degree, why did you bother calling me in for an interview? You're very rude and unprofessional. Yeah, you fucked up at every junction thus far but I'm the one who's rude and unprofessional. The first question they asked was a statistics exam type question. Took me completely off guard. I half asked the answer, a complete answer would have taken half an hour. The next question was about a Punnett square analysis. I answered honestly, and said that the first thing I would do would be to look it up. Errors in Punnett squares are incredibly common, and I wouldn't trust anyone who said they could do it off the top of their head. I'd look it up even if I'd done one last week. They really didn't like that answer. They wanted to know where my husband worked and where we lived, and they concluded that our six-month rental location was completely incompatible with the commute to their location. The whole thing was just super weird, it was like they sat down determined to find a reason they should not hire me. I was relieved to get out of there. Many years ago I was interviewed for an IT director position at a finance and legal consulting firm. Apparently, they were expecting an older looking person and assumed I was there for the temp slash admin positions. I was given a reading comprehension test, a typing test, and a spatial awareness IQ test. These took a bit over an hour in total. When I was done the guy said okay, thanks we'll call you. I asked about speaking to the CIO and other tech directors for the IT director position. He looked at me like I had three heads. They kept me waiting for about 25 more minutes, realizing the mistake, scrambling to pull things together. After 45 minutes of waiting, I told them I was going to leave. The headhunter called me right away really upset that their mistake may cost her a commission on finding me and wasting my time. We had a very nice discussion about how she needed to screen slash brief her clients better, and how they made several bad assumptions that could be an HR issue, within the HR department of the consulting firm. I never worked with her again. No idea if they ever found a new IT director. I feel like I dodged a bullet in a potentially disorganized slash toxic workplace. I did learn that at the time I was typing 80 plus WPM mistake free. I was interviewing for a job in Houston, and lived in Austin, about 2.5 hours away. I drove to Houston for the first round of interviews, and they said it went well and wanted to being me in for a final interview, so I drove there again. It seemed like it went well and they told me they had one more interview to conduct and would have a decision tomorrow. So the next day came and went, I emailed the manager to ask if any decision had been made, nothing. Waited a couple more days, left a voicemail, nothing. Then a couple days later, I just called the main number for the company and told the receptionist why I was calling. She was like well, someone just started in that job yesterday. They ghosted me after I drove a total of 10 hours to interview twice. Still salty about that 11 years later. This was quite a while ago, maybe about 2010, and the recession was still hitting the job market pretty badly. Here I am graduated from college a few years before, and looking for anything. I interviewed for a job calling people trying to recruit them for two-year college, I think it was National American University. I had experience with customer service and some phone work doing tech support at my college, and this would be within my abilities. About halfway through the interview, I could tell it was going poorly. The guy interviewing me was asking me to give a sales pitch on recruiting and I was failing. We got to the end, and he was upfront about saying I wouldn't be a good fit for what they needed. However, 
he did give me a bunch of great advice on how to properly interview and to be able to sell myself to a prospective employer. He even did a little coaching session with me. I knew he could see I was desperate, and I was, I was unemployed, and he took time to help me out for my future attempts. I did take his advice and was able to get a decent job eventually. I have always used the tips he gave me and they have helped me greatly. So did that guy, thanks. I once did an interview with a software company that specialized in Bluetooth applications. Right off the bat one of the interviewers was so socially awkward that he could barely speak above a whisper, and when he wasn't literally hiding behind a copy of my resume, he was staring at the table in front of him. Whatever, awkward but he seemed like a smart guy and the other dude did most of the talking. The real problems started when they started asking me about my work experience, and kinda were giving me these confused looks. Eventually they just asked, so I'm wondering, you don't have any professional experience as a Python developer? To which I replied professional no, hobby yes. Why may I ask are you applying to a senior Python developer role then? Ooh this was supposed to be an interview for RF engineering role right? Well it turns out that there was a mix up with a recruitment agency that they hired and they posted a job that had already been filled, and these guys were interviewing me for a totally different job. They were just so nice and polite that they were just going to let me blather on and on about experience I had for the wrong job. We all just kinda laughed a sigh of relief, they apologized and I thanked them and left. No biggie just kind of an awkward waste of time lol. Applied for an internship at a human rights law office. They gave me questions on the spot to debate with them, like should people accused of rape remain anonymous until convicted and is bribery acceptable if it's for a good cause. It was me versus a panel of five senior human rights lawyers for a whole hour, who just ripped me apart from start to finish. Everything I said, they made sound like the dumbest response with their rebuttals. By the end I was a nervous babbling wreck. Did not get the internship, but did appreciate the experience in retrospect. When they got back to me, they told me your CV, resume, was fantastic, so we were quite disappointed with how poor your interview was. Burn. My personal favorite bad interview? I had been unemployed for a bit, was desperate for a new gig. Had gained a lot of weight living off of fast food so my good pants didn't fit me very well. I sat down in the interview chair as the person was walking around to their side of the desk. And the button of my pants popped off, did a one hopper off of the desk, and right into their coffee cup. Swished, no clink at all. For the entire interview, they were sipping their coffee, and I was sitting there with my pants unbuttoned waiting for the big reveal. I left before they got to the bottom of their coffee, but they had to have put two and two together. This narrowly beats out the time I was offered water from a carafe at an interview, dropped it, and soaked both interviewers. At least that one wasn't as psychologically tense. It was gonna be my first real job using my college degree. I had planned for it, bought new clothes, developed answers to questions I thought they'd ask. The day of, I was sick. I called and asked if we could reschedule. They said the slots are full and that if I wanted the job, to come down and interview? Well, I went down, because you know, needing a job. I was sweating through my shirt because of my fever. I nearly threw up just waiting to be called. Finally, I get called in. Get weird looks from other interviewees. I sit across the table from my interviewer, a very pretty lady. She smiles but it's forced. I see her look me over with disgust. Proceed with the interview. I'm still a gross mess, and halfway through, I feel the bile rise, the saliva filling my mouth. Think to myself, if I puke, I won't get the job force it down. Swallow what came up. But I burped. It couldn't be stopped. It smelled like vomit. She looked even more disgusted. Asks why I didn't reschedule the interview. Told her I was sorry. That I tried to reschedule. She thanked me for coming in and asked me to leave. Still got the job. At the time I was living in this foreign country for about two years and my language skills were only at an A2 slash B1 level. So I could understand pretty well but was terrible at speaking. The interview, with three people, didn't go very well. They spoke in their native language, I tried to respond in said language, couldn't, then switched to English every time. Luckily everyone spoke English. But I was embarrassed the whole time because my language skills weren't where they should have been. Luckily due to me being technically overqualified for the job, bachelor in science, and that the management is extremely nice and welcoming, I was offered the job that day. It turned out to be the worst interview of my life, but I'm still working there to this day, two years later, and improving my language skills. I'm still extremely happy, and I've never had more caring, down-to-earth management in a job. 
I got really lucky they gave this English speaker a chance. I had an interview where I knew the answers I gave were good, solid examples. I understood the technical side well. But the interviewer kept sneering, being rude and saying really? In a skeptical tone and I got the distinct impression he hated me. About 20 minutes in, I thought about politely calling it a day and leaving but in my innocence thought it would be good practice to stay. 40 minutes in, it's like a light switch goes off inside and he's the nicest guy, his eyes light up and he started hard selling the role and position to me. Introduces me to the team. The director interviews me and he and the team are lovely. Apparently, their interview technique is to be rude to see how you perform under pressure and they'd all been observing using a camera and were impressed I remained so polite and calm throughout. They couldn't understand why I declined, 